test. National Day message from Mr. Heng Sui Kit, Minister for Education, at a National Day Observance Ceremony in schools on Wednesday, 7 August 2013. Teachers, students, many stories, one Singapore. This year, we celebrate 48 years of Singapore's independence. We have made much progress together as a people and as a nation. We are a relatively young nation compared to other nations, but we should reflect on the story of our nation's birth and developments. The theme for this year's celebration, Many Stories, One Singapore, allows us to share stories of significant events that make us who we are today. These stories work together to make a unique One Singapore. Ten years ago, we battled SARS as a nation. It was a difficult period for us, but a story of how Singaporeans from all walks of life came together to support one another is something that we can all be proud of. We remember Dr. Alexandra Chow, who rushed back from Los Angeles while on vacation with his wife. A few of his colleagues at the Singapore General Hospital had already fallen to the SARS virus, and he was the only surgeon left in his team who could be on duty. He was infected while working at the hospital and died as one of the healthcare workers who sacrificed their lives in the fight against SARS. Such commitment to serve common good reminds us that we are a big family that takes care of one another. When Hotel New World collapsed in 1986, a skewer worked around the clock for four days to save those trapped in the rubble. Shops nearby fed the rescue teams for free. Citizens volunteered in the rescue efforts. 17 were saved. The nation mourned with the families of the 33 who died. The public and organizations donated more than $1.5 million to the family. And more recently, in June this year, Singapore experienced serious haze pollution. Many of us were encouraged by stories of Singaporeans helping one another. Some brought an N95 mask back from overseas to, dis to distribute to neighbors. Others opened their homes to strangers. As you can see, there are many examples of Singaporeans who make a difference to others. Generation after generation, this community of Kampong Spirit continues to bind us together as one people, one Singapore. Let us take some time this National Day to reflect on the stories that touch our hearts and forge our Singapore spirit. And very often, simple acts of service inspire others and bring about a change that we want to see here in society. I encourage you to contribute your own stories to the Singapore Memory Project and go on to create new and exciting stories by making a difference in your own days. Together, these stories reflect our Singapore story, a collection of things, both big and small, which we have gone towards shaping the Singapore we know and are proud of. I wish all of you a very happy National Day. Mr. Haynes Vigget, Minister for Education. Thank you. Thank you, Chu Che. School, please rise for the singing of the national anthem, followed by the recitation of the national pledge. All uniform personnel in dress, please salute. 